Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden cheese as always. Got another defensive video for you guys today, and you better believe I'm still in the Kansas City Chiefs defensive book. I I don't remember a year where I spent the entire season in one defensive book, but I've pretty much done that up to this point with the Kansas City Chiefs. But the play I'm going to show you guys today is more of a run defense. It's also a pretty good pass defense, but I think ultimately this is a very good run defense. I'm in the 3-4 under once again. If you guys caught my gameplay video recently, that I put out on Tuesday, I, I used the Will Fire 3 seam as a really good blitz and a really good base defense that also really stops the run. This play is another play that I use out of this formation that really complements it. So that's why this particular play that I'm going to show you today, the cover four quarters, goes with it so well because it's really a good one-two punch. Today, we're going to focus on the cover four quarters. We're going to focus on the uh, the run defense. And like I said, it's also a pretty good pass defense. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. Like I said, I am in the uh, Kansas City Chiefs defense, which is, like I said, it's my favorite book is the only ebook i made this year if you guys want to get more plays out of this playbook you guys can check that out link in the description below on the offensive side i just want to go random uh because i mean i try to give myself the best challenge possible since we're going to be doing a run stopping video with a run stopping defense i'm going up against king henry himself uh and we're going to try to stop the best uh, running back in the game and maybe the best running team in the game so let's just go ahead and let's pick random play now, before I get into this video, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at MMOXP.com. If you guys want to get your mutt team up like mine, I'm currently uh, rocking a 98 overall team. I've never been that high of a mutt team uh, in my life, but I'm, I'm there this year. Uh, check them out. Link in the description below. And use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Now, as far as this defense goes, uh, you guys probably know. I mean, I like to think that I was one of the first people that discovered how good cover four quarters is. I don't remember a lot of people running that uh, but since i put out a lot of cover four videos a couple of months ago uh, it seems like a lot of people are, are running this defense now, or at least a lot of the YouTubers are, are wise to it and putting out videos about it. Uh, to me, it's the best run defense in the game, bar none. And this particular formation just has a really good spread to the point where it's a very good defense. It, it complements the cover four as well. So this setup is going to look kind of similar to one that I put out from the 4-3. Uh, I put out one from the 4-3, even 6-1 as well. I mean, there's a lot of different defenses that I've, I've put out from this particular playbook. But all I'm really going to do to make this a very good... Or shutdown run defense is I'm gonna hit Y or triangle depending on whether you're an Xbox or a PlayStation I'm on Xbox so it's Y then I'm going to hit the left stick to the right which is base align then I'm going to show blitz and then I have a choice at this point. I can base a line again, uh, which in my opinion is probably the better way to go, but it really depends on what you're looking at on the offensive side. So like I said, that, that linebacker there, I'd probably prefer him in the box. Uh, but ultimately, I mean, if I'm trying to stop the run, I'd probably prefer him in the box. Uh, but, you know, it's also not a bad idea to have somebody right in front of the receiver take away any quick throws. So it's really up to you. If you think it's going to be a runner pass, this guy here, like I said, that, that can change based off of play, uh, from play to play. Uh, the next setup would be all I'd really want to do is hit that wide triangle angle again and then i'm going to hit down the right stick to go underneath now this is like i said if we're really trying to set this up for run defense this is pretty much going to be the look i'm going to bring these safeties uh you know in a little bit of a better position but ultimately that second base align that i did was just to drop these cornerbacks back when you base the line one time they come down when you base the line again after showing blitz they back off but the safeties stay down that's the most important part because these safeties are going to be the mvp of this entire defense if you don't guess pass which like i, I gotta be honest with you i do guess pass a lot i guess pass probably 90 percent of the game but if you don't guess pass on a, in a situation like this these safeties will turn into supermen and they'll either if it's a run play they'll shoot the gaps right away they'll, you'll see if you watch them they'll both come flying down if you if you guess pass they won't do that they'll just drop back so in this scenario don't guess pass don't guess run just let them make the reads i'll put my uh my my defensive or my linebacker here i'll put him on a uh a blitz uh and to be honest with you I accidentally messed up there and i did guess pass so i don't know if that's gonna mess up the whole play but we'll go ahead and we'll rock with it so like i said this is the look i don't know if i messed that up but we'll go ahead and we'll let this run like i said i'm just gonna blitz my guy here but like i said i also did guess pass just out of you know like i said right there you see they drop back that's why you don't want to guess pass i'll go to the replay to hammer that point home because it was it was a mistake i didn't mean to do it i just did it out of instinct because i do it so often like i said i guess pass so they immediately get out of the box 
Anytime you guess pass, even though it was a run, they immediately drop back. And that's why it's best to not guess pass in a formation like this when you're trying to set this up for run defense. So I definitely made a mistake there, but we'll do it again. So like I said, we're just going wide triangle, base align, show blitz. And then like I said, I like the base align again. Uh, it, that part's really up to you. Sometimes I don't base align the second time. But if you got these cornerbacks right in these receivers' faces and they are on a streak, a lot of times you can get cooked. So to me, I think it's, like I said, depends. Sometimes I drop back, sometimes I don't. And then like I said, the real uh, important part of it is um, you know, not guessing pass, which this time it will not guess pass, and you will see how if it's a run, they'll play it much better. You can see right there, that was actually pretty decent running. Did he hit the cutback lane? Uh, but ultimately, if I go to the replay, which is probably the more important part, is these safeties here, like I said, they shot down into the box and played the run immediately. It's because these, when any cover four you have, the safeties will typically come forward. That's typically how cover fours are designed for these safeties to step forward first. So let's go and let's do that again. Like I said, uh, this time here, I'm, if I'm really trying to go run heavy, I don't base the line again. I also like to user uh, the safeties a lot of times in this particular defense, but since I'm trying to make the point of how well they uh, play the run, I won't uh, use them right now. I'll just use the linebacker. So like I said, right here, now you can see, I don't know who's making a play there, but I think it was the linebacker who's instantly in the backfield. And then we go back to that uh, instant replay once again. Like I said, I did not guess pass. You'll watch these safeties. They typically just come right forward. It almost looks like I'm run committing. But you can see based off the fact that the cornerbacks are dropping back, it's not a run commit. So these safeties here, when you don't guess pass, in this cover four quarters, they will immediately shoot forward. And they'll make a lot of plays. Here they pretty much just stacked up. the, You know, like he couldn't go this way. Safety was in the box. On the other side, you know, if you if, if it looks like he's shooting for this gap, but the safety's right there filling that hole. And then you can see, obviously, the linebacker comes up the back side but where's the hole right now for this running back to make a play everything's covered up by you know majority of these safeties dropping into those into those boxes so here we have another look this is obviously a run fit look we'll go full setup here one more time and like i said i just blitz uh blitz this guy here which for some reason he's not doing like i said this would be the look right here so full full run commit to the extent I mean, it's not really a run commit, as you can see right here. I did not run commit. That was just the how the... And then, like I said, it's a pretty good pass defense, too, as you can see. I typically use this as a short yards play. I typically use this for uh, goal line, for, uh, you know, fourth and one, third and one, something like that. You know, that's typically when I pull this out, when I really need a, a good defense that can get a stop. But it's also not, uh, you know, still a good pass defense on top of it. So this is pretty much the look right here. If this is an inside zone, it should do a pretty good job of shutting this down. Uh, and then you can see, like I said, as far as the pass defense goes, you get pretty good coverage. As the coverage was everywhere. You know what I mean? So it's not just a run defense. That's one of the reasons that I like this, this cover for court. I love cover for quarters to start but this is definitely uh, one of the better ones because of the alignment. Like I said, the way that these defensive linemen especially are evenly uh, set up, I mean, it's a good wide formation. As you can see on both sides, whenever you play run defense, you want both sides to basically have outside leverage. Right here, this linebacker gives me outside leverage on that blocking tight end. So if it's a stretch, he's going to get outside of that, especially if I hard fly, because he's, he's definitely going to get there if I hard fly, because he's going to shoot down to get to the hard flat space. So this is, you know, perfect for outside containment. And and this guy here has pretty good outside containment as well, um, you know, just to start the play, which is typically what you want. Then on the inside, there's no real gaps. I mean, this is pretty much any defensive lineman should be able to handle the assignment size of these gaps because it's pretty evenly spaced. So that's one of the reasons that this play works so well. And then, like I said, it's almost like having four linebackers behind the defensive line because these safeties here, along with these linebackers, will shoot down and make a lot of plays. So this is pretty much going to be my look. Like I said, I'm not going to get cooked with these uh, safeties being up like this. You can see like there, I mean, we actually got some pressure, but it was a pretty well covered play on the backside anyway. So that's the thing. Like I said, this play here, very good run defense, very good pass defense. Uh, but you probably don't want to run it against a spread defense like, like this. Anything that's too far spread out, you really want to save this for run heavy players or run heavy situations. So like right here, I'm not guaranteeing it's going to work against this particular play, but it is a two tight end set. And they can see once again, Derrick Henry's really going nowhere. And I didn't even have the full setup in. And I didn't even have the full setup in on that last play. I didn't even have the hard flats in, but it still looked like it. So, you know, baseline show blitz. That's pretty much it. 
and then you really have a lot of different options here. The bat, the box is just absolutely stacked. And the large part of it, like I said, I think is the cover four quarters itself. It's just a really good uh, play. And you can see the quarterback really doesn't have anywhere to go as everything's pretty much locked up again. We're getting a lot of covered sacks. So this is a play, I mean, obviously you don't run us against a five wide set, but this is a play that can have a lot of success as a pass defense, which I've said in multiple videos in the past. I probably use cover four quarters for like two months straight. Now I'm currently using a lot of cover three. Um, it's probably my main defense right now, but I, I mean, without a doubt, cover four quarters is still one of my go-to defenses. That's probably the second most used defense in my arsenal. Uh, and then I would say, you know, that's that's pretty much it, which is the other play in this particular formation. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Uh, if you guys want to see more defensive videos like this, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.